Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Wreath Network on Try Hack Me. Today we're going to be taking a look at Task 22, Command and Control Introduction. Note, if you're using the attack box, then you are advised to skip to Task 32. That way, Empire is installed and uh, in the attack box, um, and uh, it's not representative of the recommended method. Or the uh, attack box, rather, is not representative of the recommended method. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, I am using my own Kali machine. If you want to do this bit, I highly recommend having your own Kali machine. Uh, it, it's just going to be far, far easier. I'm sure you could probably do this on Ubuntu as well. If you have an Ubuntu box that you can connect to the network or any other Debian system will be pretty easy. Don't try to do this on the attack box at the time of recording. It will not work. Please don't try doing it. It will probably tell you that you need to use another solution if you ask for help on that. So uh, you are also welcome to just watch along and watch how I do it. Uh, that perfectly acceptable as well. Let's go ahead and dive into the task. So we have a stable shell. What now? With a foothold in a target network, we can start looking to bring what is known as a C2 uh, command and control framework into play. C2 frameworks are used to consolidate an attacker's position within a network and simplify post-exploitation steps. So privesk, AV evasion, pivoting, looting, covert network tactics, etc., as well as providing red teams with extensive uh, collaboration features. A lot of times when you're doing a pen test, especially on a red team, you are going to have your entire team there with you, or at least part of it. So having a C2 framework can allow people to tag in, um, or using a C2 rather can allow people to tag in and help you out. Uh, there are many C2 frameworks available. The most famous and expensive is likely Cobalt Strike. Uh, however, there are many others, including the .NET based Covenant. Uh, Covenant is really nice. Uh, there's Merlin, um, which I've heard a lot of people be very uh, big fans of. Shadow, Posh C2, and many others. An excellent resource for finding and filtering C2 frameworks is the C2 Matrix, which provides a great list of the pros and cons of a huge number of frameworks. Great resource right there. I'll go ahead and close that as well. Uh, if you have a moment after this video, take a look, brief look at this. It's going to give you a lot of information. Um, and just give you a heads up about uh, all the different C2 frameworks. And this is just good to be familiar with in general. We have a system shell on a Windows host, making this an ideal time to introduce the second of our three teaching topics, the C2 framework Empire. PowerShell Empire is, as the name suggests, a framework built primarily to attack Windows targets. It provides a wide range of modules to take initial access to a, uh, uh, to a network of Windows devices and turn it into something much bigger. In this section, we will be looking at the principles of PS Empire, as well as how to use it and its GUI interface Starkiller to improve our shell and perform post-exploitation techniques on the Git server. The PowerShell Empire, uh, or the, uh, the Empire project was originally abandoned in early 2019. Uh, ironically, right after I made the original room on Empire, which was a little frustrating, but here we are. <laughs> However, it was soon picked up by a company called BC Security. Fantastic folks over there. Uh, they have a wonderful Discord community, and if you were interested in getting involved with Empire development or working with them, they are very cool to hang out with, uh, who have maintained and improved it ever since. As such, there are actually two public versions of Empire, one very outdated Empire 2.x and the current Empire 3.x. Be careful to get the right one. If you get the wrong one, you will probably have a bad time. So please don't do that. We will be looking into both Empire and its GUI extension, Starkiller. Empire is the original CLI-based framework, so command line interface-based framework. Um, Starkiller is a more recent addition. It works on top of the standard Empire application when in server mode and has the advantage of allowing multiple people to connect to the same session to collaborate. This particular feature is obviously not of much use to us right now since well it's just us uh, but it's worth bearing in mind uh, potentially useful if you're going through this network as a team uh, potentially for a project or something and you want to share a shell very helpful you can do this in tmux as well um, however empire is much much more flexible and it, that's actually an intended purpose in there as there is already a full room on the topic we will be covering only the very basics here however please complete the empire room for extra practice and this is something i'll have a standalone video coming out for at some point and i do highly recommend checking out that room empire is a ton of fun to play with you're just gonna have a good time with this read the introduction so we'll go ahead and mark that as complete and in the next video we will be going over task 23 but until then happy hacking